Nasdaq. Can't stop, won't stop, they said. Nasdaq. Can't stop, won't stop, they said. Yeah, it's straight down. Not today, buddy. Not today. Oh, buddy, the trap is real. The trap. Eat Nasdaq. Wow. There's the pullback we were looking for. Right off the beat one. Nasdaq. Can't stop. Won't stop, they said. Right off the beat one. Nasdaq. Can't stop. Won't stop, they said. Yeah, it's straight down. Right not today, buddy. Not today. If you guys haven't read that like button, subscribe button, you know what to do. Hit that blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. What to do, what to do, what to do, it's Fresh Cash for Friday, boys and girls. You're tuning into the number one, the number one day trading futures channel, whatever you want to call it. We're number one. I don't care what anyone says. It's the thought that counts, my friends. What is this microphone doing right now? Whee! There it goes. Perfect. So to block my face like this. All right, here we are. We're live. We're doing it. All right, all right. It's Fresh Cash Friday, baby. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I do love a good fresh cash Friday. Something about Fridays, man. You're like Friday. Let's finish strong. Let's get ready for the weekend. It's time to party. All right. All right. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. If you guys have already hit that like button, let's fucking break some records today. Let's let's just go ahead and hit that like button. It's free to like. It's fun to like. I feel like it's way more fun if you, uh, you know. You uh, uh, do, 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 do the like button. So today we've actually banned, we've unbanned over 3,000 people. That's right. Over 3,000 people have been unbanned from the chat. I don't, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen to be honest. Like it could get absolutely just, just uh, insane today. But we'll, we'll see how she plays. Uh, we got also OPEX, OPEX today. Which if you don't know what OPEX is. There's this little thing called Google, right? You go on Google, you type in, what is OPEX? And it'll tell you. Um, I don't know. It actually doesn't say. <laughs> uh, OPEX Friday. Let's see how what comes up when you put it, OPEX Friday. Oh, yes. There it is. Look at that. Google. It's so smart. I love how Google just tells you all the answers. So the uh, monthly options expiration in U.S. markets typically falls on the third Friday of each month. This Friday marks monthly options expiration. Options expiration, also known as OPEX, can lead to increased choppiness in the stock market because of options expire. Bulls and bears often alter their position as time runs out. So if it's on Google, what's funny is I Googled it and it came up on Yahoo. Yeah, um, pretty funny. I'm not going to ban anyone today. Let's try to. I'm going to see if I can go. I'm just going to let them. If they want to talk shit, let them talk shit. It'll be fun. It'll be, it'll get, it'll get nice and spicy up in here. I love arguing with idiots on the internet. You know, it's my favorite pastime, actually. When I'm not trading, I just like to argue with people. So. All right, all right. So, so far this morning. Um, so
so far this morning what do we got let's look what do we got for the news today i think we had uh some 8 30 numbers right uh we had yeah empire uh state manufacturing um We've got 9.45 numbers. We've got fucking 10 o'clock numbers today. So not only do we get OPEX, but we also get 9.45 and 10 o'clock numbers a day, which I fucking hate 9.45 and 10 o'clock numbers because it's just like you get short, you get long, 9.45 happens, the market does the exact opposite, and, well, you got to love it. So right now we're going to have to just sit back here and uh, prepare for anything like always so it's not even nine o'clock yet it's not even nine o'clock yet people just relax relax we're here to have fun and make some money today so we got opex we got global uh s p global u.s manufacturing pmi numbers at 10 o'clock which should be a pretty big uh number we've got global services pmi as well at 10 o'clock and the 945 numbers, they're only two stars, but industrial production year over year, industrial production month over month. So 945 numbers, 10 o'clock numbers. It's OPEX. It's Fresh Cash Friday. It's time to party. We're doing it. It's gone. It's on. It's on. All right. All right. Hey, Patrick, how do I get a chance to have you be my mentor? Just tune in every day live on YouTube. I'll be your mentor. I'll tell you... Uh, what to do, I'll teach you how to become a man. Hopefully you're a man, not a woman. If you're a woman, I, I can't teach you how to be a woman. I don't know how to do that, but I can help you be a man. <laughs> oh God, it's already starting. Sometimes I wonder, I'm like, how does one man so funny? Do you, guys, I, do you guys laugh at your own jokes? Or is that just me? I, I, I kinda, I feel like I laugh at my own jokes pretty often. Maybe that's just me, but. Is the, you feel like the, the volume's low today? Is everybody else experiencing that? Volume, volume, volume low. Is that, is that happening right now? Let me see what we got here. Volume, volume, volume. Sound is very low today. I need it to be louder, 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 boys. Let me just bump up some things here. Let me bump it up, baby. Bump, bump, bump it up. Bump, bump, bump it up. Bump, bump, bump. I do see. I I do see that it's. Uh, it seems like it's not as. For some reason, it's not as high. Let me check something real quick. Let me check. I think something's going on here. Let me check something. Somebody touched something yesterday. When I went on Top Step TV, I must have uh, moved some stuff around. So let me just uh, kind of move this up. There we go. I think now we're back. Now we're popping. Yeah, there. I think I moved around some stuff, and now we're good. We should be. Back to magical magicalness. Now we're ripping. Now we're ripping. All right, all right. I'm gonna blow everybody's speakers out, baby. Let's go. <laughs> all right, all right. Nothing I love more than just blowing everyone's speakers out in the morning. We'll play the song later on. I already played it once. Can't be playing it every single minute here. Ah. All right. If we get 500 likes, I'll play the song and we'll do the poll. So go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. All right. Let's take a look here. Get a game plan going. Get a game plan. What's the game plan today? Anyone got a game plan today? Share it in the chat. Let me know what you think. What's going to happen today? We're going up. We're going down. What's the theory today? We get a lot of choppy action. A lot of choppy action is probably going to be the actual game plan today. But let's uh, let's just look here. Look at the hourly chart right now. Hourly chart. We're at right there at the VWAP. So yesterday we bounced off this area. We had this fair value gap. That uh, volume imbalance on the hourly chart that we pulled back into. So, is it a coincidence? I don't know. We bounced off that level. We pushed back up here. We don't really have anything else going on in terms of imbalances. Maybe a little one like right here that we're sitting at right now. Um, we had the high of day yesterday. 
or no, wait, overnight from, uh, where's the high of day yesterday? There it is. High of day yesterday was there at the 811s. We've kind of got this kind of thingy form in here. So right now sitting at the uh, 16788s. You can see the overnight. Look at the overnight move here. Pretty much not going anywhere. I mean, I guess we had a little pop right there from the 774s and then went absolutely sideways for about four hours there um, along that level there. Right now, 15. Uh, this is the hourly chart, kind of looking very indecisive. We're right here at the VWAP right now. Looking at the 30-minute chart. Trying to see if we're going to close back. We got this 30-minute uh, fair value gap, that imbalance right there. And, um, yeah, we will uh, we will see how she plays. 15-minute chart right there at the VWAP right now. We got this high from the overnight. Pretty much... Uh, 814 level, the high there, pretty obvious. So I would say if we get above that 814s, well, I, you know, I mean, uh, it's, it would be probably we go higher, 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 make me go higher, higher. I don't really know, to be honest. I'm expecting a lot of choppy action today. It's OPEX. If you're just now tuning in, you're like, what's OPEX? There's a little thing called Google. It'll tell you exactly what OPEX is. But OPEX is basically all of the monthly options expire on the third Friday of the month. Is that what it is? Yeah, the third Friday of the month, I believe. Second Friday, third Friday. It's the third Friday. December 1st was the first Friday. And December 15th is the third Friday. All right, all right. We got pivot points today. Pivot points. We got a pivot point that we bounced off of down here at this level, right? This 755 level pivot point right there. We've also got some support there from the overnight. We are right now pushing back up to the VWAP right now. So that 755 pivot point acting as support. We've got a pivot point to the upside at the 882s, which is uh, higher than... Uh, Wednesday and Thursday's high. Well, no, actually, wait, 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 wait. The high is 877. That pivot point's at 882s. So yesterday's high was 16,877 uh, right there. And there's a pivot point right up here. The dollar showing some uh, so showing some pretty good strength here overnight, kind of going sideways. Seven o'clock, ripping higher right now. So we will see how this all plays out. Like I said, today OPEX expecting uh, expecting that. Somebody said they got the uh, 8:05 p.m. Patrick Whelan uh, indicator. What time was that? Let me see. Where was that at? P.m. 8:05 p.m. What time is that? Is this one right here? What time frame? What time frame did you get it, Kevin McDonald? Which time frame did you go on that one? Do I want to do bets today like FOMC? No, because uh, I t honestly today I wouldn't make a bet because I have no idea what's going to happen here, to be honest. Um, two minutes. The breakout. Right there, 744, up there to 772. Went all the way up there to a high. You just let it ride, huh? You let it ride all the way to the fucking moon, huh? All right, all right, boys. I'd like to see it. All right, right now we're looking at the two-minute chart. If you're just now tuning in for the first time ever, which is very weird, this is the indicator that I use. You can pull it up on TradingView, um, Lux Algo, Mark Flow, get tr Market Flow, Trend Lines, and Liquidity. Uh, Hugh said, great work on Top Step TV. It's hard on Top Step TV, to be honest. You get very distracted. I feel like there's too many people to talk to. And it's like, there was a, a trade that I wanted to take off of the VWAP yesterday. And I was, before I knew it, I was talking about something else. And then I looked and the trade was already over. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think it's, it's hard to trade when you have five people that are all talking and, uh, and got it going on.
TNC Mobile Detailing, first timer. Wow. Wowzers. I do, I, I, I know I've, I keep talking about this, but I think next year, I got some big plans going on for next year, by the way. I've always got big plans coming, but I do think I'll get to a point, I would like to get to a point where I, I, like, I bring in a sidekick. Like, I would like to have a sidekick, right? I think a sidekick would be nice. One little sidekick. Maybe just like, you know, I'm Batman, they're Robin. And that way, like the days where I go fishing, the sidekick can run the can run the uh, live stream. <laughs> uh, I would like the person to be actually in person. Like I would like to for that person. I don't want to like. I want to be like in the same room as that person. I think it's more. It would be more fun. I know Sage would be cool, but he's uh he's not. He's got a family. He's not going to move to Fort Lauderdale and live with me. Um, not that I need to live with someone, but. I would like to find a sidekick at some point. Tanja. Whee. All right, all right. Right now, the NASDAQ pushing back up. We're right here at the VWAP now. Right here at the VWAP. We had this previous area of support there at the 93s. Let's we'll see how she goes. Patrick, any recommendation? Any recommendations on settings for the premium Lux Algo indicator or Lux Algo premium uh, price action concepts? Pretty much, I'll show you my settings right here. Um, this is what I'm using right now. Do 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 do. Very slowly, kind of scrolling through here for you. Um, yeah, I don't really, I don't use the order blocks anymore. Um, I'm mostly using the trend lines, like the patterns. I like to see, you know, the, the. Uh, imbalances, uh, the different discounts. I have these levels pulled up on different charts, but uh, I do have those normally kind of checked off and that's pretty much what I got, so. Those are my levels, that's my ideas. Right now we're looking at the 15 minute chart sitting right here at the VWAP right now. We push back up above the VWAP, we kind of flipped the VWAP. This could be uh, kind of a push back up level now. If we push back up, here above the 800s, looking at the dollar right now, dollar is kind of trending lower. If this was a normal, if we were already like, let's say we were at 10 o'clock right now, and we push back above the VWAP like this on the 50 minute chart, I might take this trade right here. But seeing that it's nine o'clock, I probably will not take it because, well, I just, I try to not take those trades, even though it kind of fits my parameters to get back above the VWAP here, but we'll see how she pushes. Thinking that you could kind of get long here with a stop below like 80s and you would be good for a push back up and possibly to the 800s from here. So let's see if it plays out. Pretty much target of 800s for this push back above the VWAP now. I'm going to be right and I'm going to be fucking sad. Or hopefully I'm wrong to be honest. Maybe I'm wrong. But you're basically wanting to see this price action stay above the VWAP here. And there she goes, 91s now. <laughs> Let's see if it hits. Let's see if she hits here. We're back above the 14 EMA here on the two minute chart. I've really been loving the 14 EMA lately. Um, it's really been kind of like my big focus now. Um, I'm trying to buy those little pullbacks, you know, like into the 14 EMA for those pushes. It gives you a lot better entry, right? A lot better entry gives you a better risk reward, gives you better profit percentage, you know, better overall trade trying to buy these pullbacks into the 14 EMA compared to, you know, let's say like right here, oh fuck, it's going. Let's say like I bought here at 88s, 89s for this like breakout right here. Well, obviously buying at 84 would give me a lot better risk to reward, right? Like that would just be a better uh, risk to reward there in general, so. And oh, come on. Is it really gonna go right now? Is it gonna go to 800s? Was I right? Let's see. Uh, free trade for everybody out there. People say I never tell you when to take a trade. Well, here you go. Hmm. 
make me. I try to stop myself from trading before. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Well, cheers to that. If you guys haven't hit that like button, subscribe button, help me out, blow up the the uh, like button. That was a move right there from the f fucking 95s right to the 83, uh, the 803s there. I did not take the trade because uh, it was before market open, but I said... If this was like a 10 o'clock setup here, I would definitely take this trade for this pushback above the VWAP. Look what we did there, right? We got back above the VWAP, and then it kind of gives you an idea of pushing up into this middle of that drop candle right here. This candle that drops down, kind of this idea of pushing up into that 800 level, and that's exactly what, um, what we did. So, Congratulations if you... Uh, Took that trade. If you're an or if you're an early bird making money here Friday. Uh Bokter Masses, you have long one contract from 763. Do you keep holding? I'd say as long as you stay above the VWAP, you're you're good. But um That's pretty much what you got to worry about here. We pretty much want to stay above the VWAP now. Today is OPEX. Got a lot of uh, volatility, choppy action to come, I think. We've got numbers at 9.45, numbers at 10 o'clock. So. Jim Snyder using the Lux Algo indicator this morning. Let's go. There was that push. Look at how nicely that 14 EMA kind of cradled that price action. Like I said, I really am trying to force myself to be patient and wait for these 14 EMA kind of really like look at how nice this is, right? So we basically break above the 14 EMA. We have this candle right here that just closes above the 14 EMA. This candle closes above 14 EMA. We bounce off it again here at the 84. So it's like you got to think the EMA is really like cradling the price right there, supporting the price. So you're getting a very overall great risk to reward because you know, basically, if you get long here, like you just don't want to see the candles below that 14 EMA. I mean, here's your stop. So it's like a great overall risk to reward for that move up into this 800 level. So, um, yeah, I think that was textbook, textbook setup there. But problem is the best is I try to stop myself from trading before the market open and then we get a really nice trade like that and it's like it's hard to uh to be like damn it I should have just taken that trade but it's what it is be alone uh, alone if you guys haven't hit that like button let's get some likes here on the stream we're giving out free trades here free trades all right, so we got the buy signal here, but the problem is look at where we are off of the 14 EMA. So if you're using the Patrick Wynn indicator, I really don't like when the buy signal, when we get a break of the trend line there, if we get a break of the trend line here, I don't like being this far off of the 14 EMA. I want us to really kind of cradle the 14 EMA before kind of breaking out. You can see, kind of go back here, you'll see those really nice setups where you know, we're pretty close to that. Like this one here. Like, look at this one. This breakout setup right here from the overnight at 2 a.m. Look at how we were. Well, the price action was very tight there. But look at how we're cradling. Like, we're getting that signal. Basically, we're breaking higher off of the 14 EMA. We're getting the breakout there. For our breakout signal, right? We're right there. Do, 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 do. And look at how beautifully this ran. Look at that. Oh, my. From the 772s for 30 points, basically. Because, why? Because, well, look, we're, we're right there. And then if you look here on this setup, look where we get that breakout, and guess what? We pull back to the 14 EMA. So...
They didn't like me dropping the F-bomb on Top Step TV. I mean, you can't you can't keep me down. I told him if I was going to go on Top Step TV, I, I can't not use the F-bomb. I'm a tiger, baby. Uh, right now, we're looking at the two-minute chart here. 15-minute chart. Uh, this is the 15-minute chart now that we're looking at. So basically, like we said, we have that 14, 13 level here. The overnight um, resistance there. Pretty solid resistance. About fucking what? Three hours of resistance there. So. Right now, nice little reversal. Back above the VWAP here. We're back above the VWAP. We're pushing up here to this high. What I would like to see it open here is ideally we want to hold the VWAP support. We want to break through this fucking high. Right? That's that's what we want to see. So uh, that's what we're looking for. VWAP support and then break through that high. If we don't break through the high, we get below the VWAP, well then we're in trouble. We do have numbers coming out at 9.45 and 10 a.m. today, by the way. 10 a.m. numbers, 9.45 numbers. Keep that in mind, right? Just keep make sure you're not putting on a fucking trade at 9.44 or 9.59, okay? Like, that just, 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 just think about that, all right? All right. We got a pivot point to the downside at the 55. So basically, the low of this 15-minute candle right here, pivot point down there. Right now, we just had a perfect little setup for you guys. We took it off. I did not take it, but I said, hey, I was like, hey, this is looking pretty good for a push to the 800s. Off of the 85 level, up there to the 800s now. So congratulations if you took that trade. Um, and now the best part is we can just be patient and we know exactly what we're looking for as we go into open here, right? We we got a pretty good plan. We want to see that VWAP be support. We want to get that uh, breakout through the uh, highs there. Right now the dollar pulling back here into open. It's time to party. Fresh Cash Friday. If you guys haven't hit that like button, come on, come on. Get 500 likes here on the stream, and we will do the poll. The most uh, most important poll of the day here. We like polls around here. Poll, well, fishing polls. Oh, God. Look at this push up now. Fuck me. The FOMO is real, boys. The FOMO is so fucking real right now. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh god uh chris moore no we got 10 o'clock news and 945 news god i knew you guys would would run with that poll comment all right, so there we go. 30 points off of this break, uh, off of this bounce that we we're talking about here. Up there to the 808s now. So congratulations if you took that trade. Frank Cross, why don't Patrick, why don't you call the indicator the ICT fair value gaps? Because they're not ICT. ICT is a fucking scam artist that pretends that he created the stock market. And I'm not going, I do not give credit to that. If you want to believe that ICT created the stock market, then, well, you're a moron. ICT magically is just trying to help everybody learn how to trade the algorithm that he created. Like, come on. Come on, people. Everything that ICT talks about is just repackaged information with with funny words, you know. Patrick, is there any difference between trading the London session apart than the time? Um, I'd say London's probably a little slower to move sometimes, maybe a little choppy. I don't know. Fucking a! Look at this, up to the A tens now. God, god damn it, god damn it! I knew that would happen. I knew if I if I did not take that trade, it was gonna go to the moon there. Congratulations. Coulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda. 
I mean, all the fair value gap is at the end of the day is a volume imbalance, right? It's just when a candle kind of just drops through a level and doesn't really retest that level. And that's really what it comes down to, you know? ICT just basically comes up with different wordage and then claims that he invented the algorithm, which if he invented the algorithm, why would he not be like one of the richest people in the world? He drives a Corvette. Come on. Come on, guys. Like, it's just, it's common sense. If you literally invented the stock market algorithm, like, would you not be like the, one of the richest people in the world? Like, you'd be like fucking Elon Musk. Come on. Like, just ask yourself that. And don't say, oh, because he, he, he doesn't want money. Like, get the fuck out of here. Maybe he's humble. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that one as well. Oh, ICT doesn't care about money. He just wants to help people. It's like, bro. I won't say that he created these concepts. The stuff he talks about is pretty accurate. Yeah, well, I talk about, I say, hey, guys, every day the, the market bounces off the VWAP. Am I a fucking genius? Do I get credit for that? Hey, everybody, look. Every day the market bounces off the VWAP, okay? Every day it happens. Am I now the creator of the fucking stock market? Come on, give me credit for this shit. I said it would bounce off the VWAP every day. Every day the VWAP gets touched. Every fucking day. Hello. Yes, hey, how's it going? I'm good. All oh, right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Well, yeah, I mean, come on, guys. Like, just because something happens every day does not mean that I'm a fucking genius. You know, think about that. Like, I just, like, people are like, yeah, but ICT, he says every day the market's going to create imbalances. Every day the market's going to deliver price action. Every day the market's going to move. And every day it does. It's so weird. I don't understand it. Every day ICT says the market's going to move. And every day it does. Every day I wake up and I look at the market and I'm like, oh, my God. He was right again. ICT was right. He was so right. He told me it was going to move today, and it fucking moved. Like, come on. Come on, people. Like, I mean, come on. Are you that? Like, how stupid are people? The VWAP. Uh, that's my settings. I mean, it's not even about, it's not about me calling the market. It's just about we see these levels, these setups repeat over and over. It's not me. It doesn't mean that I'm a fucking genius. You know, oh, Patrick Whelan, you're a goddamn genius. How did you know? How did you know the market was going to go higher after it got back above the VWAP? How did you know, Patrick? You must have written the algorithm. You must have created the stock market. No. This shit just happens every day. If we get back above the VWAP, what, what, what do we look for? We look for a bullish move back up. Oh, look at that. Magical. Whee! Fucking blowing minds right now. Blowing minds! People are like, oh my god, how did he know? How did he know this would happen? <laughs> uh. We're looking at the USD... Uh, uh, what is that? The... DXY, DXY for the dollar. I don't, people are like, still, I don't know how the fuck people still don't know this. What fucking planet are you living on? What fucking planet are you living on? DXY. On, I can't even show it, but it's there. DXY on trading view. DX fucking Y. God. Fucking planet is this. Ah! Look at the fucking reversal on the NASDAQ right now. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
Bokter Moses, are you still long from the level? Like I said, if we hold above the VWAP there, you're up another like 40 points now. Congratulations. I can't wait for, I'm, I'm serious. I'm going to do the fuck, the stand-up comedy next year. Patrick Whelan, live stand-up comedy tour. Go from city to city. Just talking about fucking life. That's what my real calling is. Because clearly this YouTube shit ain't going to work. <laughs> I wonder how a clown makes profit. And I'm broke. Am I the clown? You're definitely the clown. Look at this reversal here. Oh my baby Jesus. Right now the VWAP sitting at 787 down there. So this is actually a pretty good setup here at open. Um, we want to see that pullback. I would like to see a pullback here. Um, right now we're at the high. So we took this high out here. Could be a trap. Always a little trap here pre-market. Be careful. If we get this nice pullback back into the VWAP, get a bounce for a rip higher. We'd love to see that. That would obviously be fucking money, but uh, not, not always do we get that. So if we get 500 likes here on the stream, we'll do the video, uh, the, the audio, the number one song on YouTube right now, hitting the top charts. And um, come on now. It's free to like, by the way. It's free to like. Oh, buddy, the trap is real. The trap. I can't even hear the song on my end. Wow. There's the pullback we were looking for. Right off the beat. Nasdaq. Can't stop, won't stop, they said. Right off the beat. Nasdaq. Can't stop, won't stop, they said. Got it straight down. Not today, buddy. Not today. If you guys already hit that like button, subscribe button, you know what to do. Hit that, blow it up. Well, hopefully that made you guys excited for the day. If you guys haven't already hit that like button, blow it up. All right, let's do the poll. We're going up or down and open. Up, down. That was actually a song created by one of our uh, YouTube viewers. So thank you for uh, for putting in that little bit of work and getting that for me. Jay, he's in the chat probably. I got to use that on my stand-up comedy tour for sure. That's my intro song. I think we can get it a little bit better, Jay. We got to get it, make it go a little harder. You know, a little harder for uh, my stand-up intro song. I think we got to go a little harder on that. Maybe some more, drop some more fucking bass in there. Fucking pop, pop, pop. Maybe some more F-bombs. Maybe some more baby Jesuses. Maybe some more, just a couple more things that piss people off. You know, like, hey, you know, let's just, let's get them really mad. The whole point of a comedy tour is to piss people off, right? That's what I always thought it was. Right now, the poll, 49% up, 51% down. Who's uh, going to win today? The Bears, the Bulls, 
We're going to find out here very soon, my friends. Very, very, very soon. Down then up. I like that idea. I do like that idea. I would love to see uh, that 88 level down there at the VWAP would be nice. What do you think about that? The Patrick Wheeling indicator paying, uh, paying 17 points there. We got the breakout. No real decent pullback, but still a nice little 17-point runner there with the free Patrick Wheeling indicator. You got to love it. You just got to love it sometimes. Up, then down, or down, then up. One of those is my guess. Damn, DV8, did you really just... That's like that's like Inception. Up, then down, or down, then up. Oh, that's pretty smart. How many, how many brain cells did you use for that idea? <laughs> hey, hey, don't hurt yourself over there. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Oh, oh, come on. Let's get down there. We're getting down there to that VWAP before open. Oh, my baby Jesus. Look at this. Gotta love it. Come on. Come on. Let's get that VWAP touchy touchy. Oh, no way. If we bounce right out the VWAP here, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I will die. <laughs> Uh Patrick, when are you gonna invite ICT and Dave? I never would have Dave on Dave is a fucking is a joke. He claims to never have a red day ever, which is literally the biggest joke I've ever heard in my life. I don't care if you're a goddamn fucking Warren Buffett. Everybody has red days. Um, like, why even claim that? It's just, it doesn't even make sense to me. It's like, are you just a psychopath? That's what I wonder. Like, are you a psychopath? He trades on MT4, by the way. He doesn't even use a real broker. I challenged him. I, I told him I'd give him $25,000 to prove that he could not lose money for two weeks straight and he wouldn't take the challenge, which is weird. If you claim that you never have a red day, and somebody challenges and says, I'll give you $25,000 to prove it, and then you won't take the challenge, what does that mean? Oh, yes. It means that you can't actually do it. It bounced off the VWAP. It's like fucking Patch of Wheeler coded the market or something. Not, I'm still not convinced, though. I think we might trap lower first. We got that pivot point to the downside down there at the 55s. That was a pretty convincing move down there. But if we do bounce right off here, I've... Name of the free indicator. God. 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 Ugh. Right there. Market flow, trend lines, and liquidity. It hurts me to have to answer this every five minutes. Right now, the poll is fic is 50 fucking 50. Could you guys, did you guys, you rigged it, didn't you? You guys, you guys did that on purpose. You guys did that on purpose, didn't you? You guys were like, oh, we're really going to fuck with them today. We're going to put 50-50 for the poll. Oh, my baby Jesus. Oh, oh, my baby Jesus. Talk about the reversal here. Welcome to OPEX Fridays. All right, so the poll right now, 50-50. So, uh, we'll see what happens here today. We will find out.
If you guys stay tuned today, make sure you stay tuned. Let's do some uh, big numbers. Let's get some thousand likes here on the stream. We'll have a good day. We'll do some giveaways. We'll do some fun stuff. You never know. Just stay tuned. A lot of good action coming today. It's Friday, baby. Welcome to Fresh Cash Friday. Is the market up? It's down. It's all around. The market takes the stairs on the way up and then the fucking elevator on the way down. Look at that thing. We were barely kind of just like, do, 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 do. We were moving like five points, five points, five points, and then, wah, wah. What a move. We're right there bouncing off the low there, that pivot point, the 55s, 55s. 55, 55, 55, 55 pivot point right now. So pretty much all we need to do here, I'm not really looking for a long unless we get back above the VWAP here. If we get back above the VWAP and then we push above the highs, like I said earlier, was thinking that we needed to trap lower. When we dropped straight down to the VWAP, even though we bounced off it, there we go. Market is open, by the way. All right. We're getting right back there above the VWAP here. Right back above the VWAP here. The dollar pushing up the NASDAQ popped up there above 800 the es making a new low right now es making a new low nasdaq possibly making a new low here as well coming up so let's see we got that 55 support down there if we lose that 55 support well it's not good for the bulls here right now at the 80s if the es starts to squeeze right back up nasdaq should squeeze up here That 820 level would be kind of a breakout level to push through there. The ES popping up here. NASDAQ trying to pop up. Do we squeeze straight through the 20s? What do you guys think? Through the 20s here? We're back above the VWAP, turning the VWAP into support right now. She's trying to pop. See if we go right through. They got to go right through the 20s here. Up there to the 16s. Turning that VWAP into support here through the 20s next. Let's see. Testing 20s again here. The high there, 1775. Should go through the 20s next. Very tight here at the 20s for now. The ES trying to hold up. The dollar straight up. The NASDAQ straight up here. Let's see if we pull back here. The 14 EMA again. 800 level. Turn it into support. Or we just go straight through there. That was a trap. If I ever saw one this morning. Look at that trap here. You got to love it. We saw the trap. We talked about the trap before it even happened, by the way. Right now, pulling back here into this uh, 14 EMA again. The ES pushing up here. If we can hold that 14 EMA, squeeze through the 20s. I think there's 40s up there or so, but basically need to go straight up through the 20s off this bounces. We got the VWAP at the 89s there. Back to the VWAP. Back to the VWAP here. We're holding the VWAP for now. Get below the VWAP, probably going to dump down here. But the ES and NASDAQ both holding up here for some reason. While the dollar's kind of getting stuck there again. 
Did we get a trap above the 20s? Kind of got to get that 20 area cleared out there. The ES is just kind of holding up at the lows. The NASDAQ's right back in the middle of this kind of opening range so far. Trouble at the VWAP again, 88 area, 90s. Holding the VWAP for now. Just stuck here at the 800s. I don't like how it's stuck here. The ES about to make a new low. The NASDAQ's probably going to take a new low as well if the ES makes a new low here. Or it's going to just chop around like crazy right now. Still just holding up there at the VWAP for now. Get through the VWAP here, try to take out that low down there, but still supporting it. I am not in, waiting to see what happens here. And again, the VWAP supported. We get through this 20 level. We got numbers at 945 by the way. Can we pop straight through here now is the question. Looking really strong right now, but just don't like how the ES is at the lows. I need the ES to pop up here. Nasdaq trying to push. Going to see if I can take as long right here for now. Tight stop on it right below 810s. We're either going to trap above that 820 level or we're going to squeeze straight up here now. Needed to go straight through 20s. There we go. 20s trying to... Ooh. Get through the 20s here, strong, goes right through the 25s, look for 25s or more. Just got to get through right here. And... Uh, Might just take it off. If we can't get through right here, I'm going to take it off. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Got to go through. Got to go through. I don't like how it's holding on here. We're either going to pop straight up or we're going to be in trouble here. Give it a second. Give it a second. Give it a second. There we go. I'm going to take it off right there. I just don't like that fucking like pullback action there. I don't like that pullback action there, boys. Uh-uh. All right, here we go, up through the 20s now. How high can we go is the question. And right back down. So good thing I took profit where I did, just didn't like how we were stuck there. The ES is looking weak. And the NASDAQ is looking uh, kind of holding up, but just not where we want it at here.
Opex, baby. We got numbers coming out here at 945, by the way. And right back up there off of the 14 EMA again. Beautiful. Squeezing straight up there. What's going on with Trades by Matt? He says he's up All right, we got numbers here in five minutes. Back down here, 14 EMA again. Trouble up at the highs. Got the VWAP down there at the 92s. The ES finding some support down at the lows in the NASDAQ. Just kind of still chopping around here. I think once these numbers come out, we might get some better action, but it is OPEX Fridays. The ES popping back up. The NASDAQ just sitting here at the highs right now. Can we make a new high here on the NASDAQ through the 30s, possibly? Look at the ES ripping back up right now. The NASDAQ trying to take out this high here. Nice little bounce right off the 14 EMA again. You gotta love the 14 EMA, my friends. It's magical. There we go, through the highs now, up there to the 40s. People in the chat saying to get short. Not a good time, it looks like. No reason to get short as long as we're holding above the VWAP, my friends. Look at that. Come on.
All right, now we just got to be patient. We don't want to chase this thing higher. Um... Want to be patient here. Probably had a buy signal. Yeah, we had a buy signal there on uh, this one on the one minute chart with the indicator back above the uh, 14 EMA there. Right now, pulling back here into the 820s. If you guys haven't hit that like button, help me out. Blow up the like button. It's free to like, by the way. <laughs> like I said, not trying to chase this higher. Being patient. We do have, we just had some numbers come out, 945. There we go. Let's see what happens here now. We got bigger numbers, more important numbers coming out at 10 o'clock, by the way, today. So again, bouncing off that 14 EMA there. They do like to bounce it there sometimes. Got the VWAP coming up. VWAP down there at the 93s. 93 VWAP. Straight down move here on the three minute chart now. So the ES just can't get moving today. The ES a lot weaker than the NASDAQ. The ES has not made a high over the overnight high yet. So the ES is still very much lagging here. The question is is the NASDAQ going to start to move down to the lows with the ES having trouble? The dollar as well. Might just have to wait for that 10 o'clock numbers here. 10 o'clock numbers coming up. There is no news at 10. Yes, there is. You guys are looking at the wrong news. I guarantee you there's news at 10 o'clock. Guarantee it. I promise you. 10 o'clock news coming out. Or wait, it all came out at 9.45? I'm an idiot. I guess, yeah, no, you're right. 9.45, there is no 10 o'clock news. Whoopsies, sorry about that. He, he, he. I can't, I can't do math, all right? I can't do the math. I'm sorry. You're right, you're right. The chat's right. There is no 10 o'clock news. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm not smart. It's because they put it in fucking that military time. It's my fault, my fault. I apologize. Hey, when I'm wrong, I'll apologize. Only about that, nothing else. I swear I saw the numbers earlier and thought it was 10 o'clock, but uh, obviously I was wrong. It's all good. A little bit of trouble here on the NASDAQ still. 
Just chopping around this 10 level for now, so. That 93 VWAP down there. Would love to see the VWAP tap here. VWAP tap, please. VWAP there at the 96s, so we'll see if we get that VWAP bounce here. Right now we're below the 14 EMA there. This choppy McChopperson action today. You can see now the 14 EMA acting as resistance there. This is also the overnight kind of high area that we were stuck at earlier as resistance. So will they kind of flip this area now? It's Fresh Cast Friday, baby! Let's go. We're trying to get it done here today. Market's trying to pay us. I want to get paid. You guys want to get paid? There we go. Look at that. Squeeze back up. Ooh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Holding the 14 EMA right now here on the two-minute chart. Got the VWAP right there at the 97s. Still kind of holding up here. If we get above the high of this candle, that 28, I think we would then push to the highs. So I'll look for possibly entry above this candle if we start to really go, go, go. But I want to see us just kind of go straight up here. Uh. As long as we stay kind of below these wicks, I don't really want to take a long there yet. Uh. Frankie's heading to the airport. He's short. See you later, Margaret. Just short it and go to the airport. Never come back. Trying to push through this resistance here, but that 23, 25 area just kind of holding us down right now. Can we get straight through it is the question. We're trying to go. It's got to go straight up. That's what we wanted to see right there through the 30s next. She's trying to push. It should go straight. We've got to go straight through here now. And take out that high up there. Through the 30s.
Go right through the 40s there next. Take out those equal kind of high area there through the 40s. The ES, the NASDAQ, trying to push up. You basically want us to stay kind of above this 28 level. Holding the 28s for now. And the chop. Still holding the 28s for now, but not looking good. Just getting denied up there again at the 37s. The ES, the NASDAQ, just cannot get moving today. Welcome to OPEX Friday. Back to the 14 EMA again. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Holding up at the 14 EMA. Will we make a new high here? The ES, the NASDAQ, they look like they want it. Well, the ES is not making new highs anytime soon. But the uh, NASDAQ just looks like it wants to take out this high up there. 44, 45s. Will she actually do it, though? What's the 15-minute chart looking like? 15-minute chart, we're pretty much sitting right there at the 30s now. And then got at the top of this range on that 15-minute candle. we got three minutes left here. Holding the 14 EMA right now. VWAP, we bounced off the 80, 80, 80, 800 level there earlier. We got a pivot point all the way up there at the 882s here on the NASDAQ. Not looking too hot right now. The ES just can't get going. The ES is literally dead over there. 65s on the ES. The NASDAQ, like I said, had already kind of made a high through the overnight while the ES is just sitting down there at the lows, not moving. And look at that. Once again, NASDAQ pops right back up there. Pretty big discrepancy between the ES and the NASDAQ right now. The dollar is selling off, but uh, just can't get out of here. ES trying to make a new low here. The NASDAQ trying to make a new high. Not a good place to be here.
Wow. The 10 o'clock numbers <laughs> that are never coming out. P-dub numbers. Still just chopping around here. 22s. I think it's really hard for the Nasdaq to make a new low, to make a new high as the ES is making new lows. So not loving it right here. Oh. JTB said it was about to drop and right then and there it just popped up <laughs> straight to the 30s. The 10 o'clock news came out there. <laughs> The ES is going nowhere. The NASDAQ's sitting up here at the 30s. We're getting very tight here. If we get through this 30 level, you would say that we go to the 50s, 60s, I think. So that's the question now. Can we actually get through the 30s? We're holding at the 14 EMA, but... Dollar looks like it wants to break out here. NASDAQ, not so much. Just chopping at the 20s for now. Got the VWAP down there. VWAP at the 800s, 802s now. NASDAQ just chop city here at the 20 to 30 level. Fifteen minute chart right now. Looking bull flaggy here on the Nasdaq, but we gotta get through these highs. Nobody knows you like I do. Nobody knows you. Back up to the thirties again. Is this the push? Got a breakout signal through the trend line there. Uh oh. I think they got to do something here to get something to move. Got to get a trap going. Either we're going to pop up and then get denied right back down, but thinking there's got to be some type of little pop. Something to happen here. Pop. 
possibly go in. Let's see. You got to get through this 34, 35 level. Go straight up through there. And just denied again up there for now. Painful price action here. Painful price action. Like I do. No. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Oh my god. Oh my god. 3940s. This bull flag here on the 15 minute chart, will we get the breakout? You would think that we get through 43s, we head up here 60s or 70s maybe. The high on those candles, uh, candles are earlier 44s there. The problem is, like, look at the ES right now. I mean, the ES is just fucked. The ES is going nowhere. This is the five-minute chart on the on the ES right here. This is literally 9.30 till 10. I mean, what are you going to do? NASDAQ, I think, I, I don't want to keep saying it, but I feel like it's just got to take out this high here. The 50-minute opening range still very much uh, in play here. We take out this high, maybe we pop up, maybe they trap above, then we go back down, but I feel like that we're just sitting so close to that high, they're going to want to take it out. Seven weeks of gains. You can't expect much more before she pops. I mean, famous last words. Someone said the same thing at five weeks. Someone said the same thing at six weeks. Someone said the same thing at three weeks. What are you going to, I mean, it's always somebody in the chat. It, it can't keep going higher. And then eight weeks. It can't keep going eight weeks higher. If the market wants to go up, it's going to fucking go up, boys. You know? So. Be that Frankie's still short. He's at the airport. Oh, man, Frankie. Why'd you go short above the VWAP, bro? Don't you know the rule? You don't go above the fuck. You don't go short above the VWAP. Don't do it. Don't do something like that, man. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you there, man. You don't listen. Can't help people. Don't do it, man. I think this thing's going to just at least pop to the upside here. It's got to squeeze some shorts. Out. They're going to try to trap above that 40 level. What do you think? 
trap above the 40s here. I'm taking it. Fuck it. I'm long. I'm long. We got to go right through this high, though. Oh, God. Take out that high. Go to the four. I'm looking for 49s. Take 10 points on this move up. 44s there. Keep it going straight up, boys. Trouble, 44s, come on. I got my finger. I'm possibly going to get out if we can't get through right here at the highs. I said that earlier as well. Stop at 38s here. I'm watching 38s. I'm either going to just jump out. right? Oh, I'm still in. <laughs> Oh, God. Stop below the 14 EMA. <laughs> That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. I'm out. Fucking A. I knew that was going to be. I should have gotten right out there. Should have gotten right out on that pullback. When we got stuck at that highs there. Dumb, dumb. That was the trap. It just happened so quick. It happened so quick. Now it's gonna now it's gonna fucking pull back here and then rip higher. Look at that dump. They got that high push and then dumped right back down. It's all good. Still up 2,000 on the day. Just a small size right there. Trying to get that pop through there. And again, popped back up off that low area. The ES just can't go. Welcome to OPEX. We, we already kind of knew this was going to be how the price action was today. So I don't really know why we're like surprised at this point, to be honest. You know, I mean, at this point, what's the surprise? No, the trap was that move up. The test, we got literally... The high on that candle was uh, 44. The high on that candle was 44. So, Queen, Mommy, Long Legs. I'm short from the 80s on the ES. Good story. You have a time machine? What'd you get short this morning? 9.15? It doesn't really help us now to tell us that you're short from the 80s, does it? <laughs> uh, doesn't really help us now. And look at that. Oh, my baby Jesus. Look at the ES just pop straight back up there. NASDAQ just straight back up as well. We Gotta love it. Now are we going to run through the highs? Are you kidding me? No way. No way. Oh my God. Are you not impressed? What the fuck? There's an old, there's an old saying. If you can't, if you're not, if you don't know, there's, if you can't spot the trap, you're probably in the trap. If you can't spot the trap, you're probably in the trap. So, uh, <laughs> we get a thousand likes here on the stream. We'll do a giveaway. Who wants to win something today?
up there to a high of uh, 45 again. So do we go straight through the 45s now? The high on the candle at 924 was 4,777 on the ES. How, do, how are you short from the 80s? I'm confused. Someone's got a time machine. Somebody got a time machine. I've been trying to buy one of those. Where do you get those at? Amazon? I want to buy a time machine. If you can sell me a time machine, I would like it. Wayfair. Wayfair time machine. All right, now we're going to go through the highs. Now we're going to go right through the highs here. <laughs> right through the highs here. Right through the highs here. Right through the highs. Don't trap it back down. I need at least 10 points here to make up for earlier. Come on. Come on. Come on through the 50s. No. No. For 50 break, 50 break, 50 break, 50 break. Oh, my. Don't do it. There we go. Through the 50s now. 55's coming up. 55's coming up here. I'm going to take it off right there. Just lock it in. All right. Fucking A. Easy peasy mac and cheesy, baby. On a day like today, I'll lock it in, all right? I'll lock it in on a day like today. Fucking A. 14 EMA still playing out pretty strong today. Just 14 EMA, bing, 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 bing. Holding up there today. VWAP, still above the VWAP here. Now we wait and see what happens here. What happens here? We're above the 15 minute opening range, by the way. All right, all right. Can we push higher here? Can we push higher, 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 higher? Through the 55s there. The, remember, the ES is still not pushed above the overnight highs, so there's no reason the NASDAQ can't try to go higher here, um, to be honest, you know? The way I'm looking at it right now. Wouldn't mind tapping that 14 EMA again. Hee <laughs> hee. 
would be would be ideal. What's interesting is, I mean, we got back above the VWAP there at open. We turned it into support, and ever since, we have not gotten below it again. So there is something to be said about the VWAP, my friends. I know not everyone thinks that it's the end-all, be-all, but sometimes I'm like, oh, you know, it's looking like it could be. I mean, would I be long this whole time? Probably not, but. V wappy wappy. It workies. Obviously not financial advice. NASDAQ just continuing to push here. The ES, the NASDAQ sitting at the highs up here. I mean the, the NASDAQ sitting at the highs. The ES still has not made the uh, overnight high on the ES is all the way up at uh, 4,788. Um, so, still a lot, still a lot of room. The Nasdaq's up 0.50%. The ES is up, is actually in the red still. So the ES is still red on the day. The Nasdaq is green on the day. I would like to see a pullback here. Um, a 14 EMA just sitting down there. Got that pivot point up at the 882s. 882, 16,882 here on the NASDAQ. So, we'll see what happens. Stuck here at the 50s now. Doing a little workout. A little Zumba. Zumba. Zumba, Zumba, Zumba. Undress. Undress. I know we've been holding this uh, trend line pretty much all morning here on the three minute chart. I don't I don't hate the idea that we pull back 
into that trend line one more time. We got the high from yesterday. Um, yeah, the high from yesterday up there at the 884s. So we'll see. Back to the 14 EMA now. Kate has said that this is the last top for the next year in this moment. Wow. It's a pretty strong uh, claim right there. And what happens if it goes higher? Do you ensure that I am uh, going to win no matter what? Bounce off the 14 EMA again here. Fucking A. I was hoping we'd get a little bit deeper into that pullback there, but there was the bounce. Nice little 10 point push back up off the 14 EMA so far on the two minute chart here. The chat indicator never fails. You just can't make this shit up. If this thing goes, it makes a new high right here, I'm going to die laughing. I think I'm going to die laughing. <laughs> I'm going to die. If this makes a new high right here, I'm. A, it's fucking... The chat never fails. I mean, we just kind of made a new high right there, I think. 57, 57, 50. No, almost. The chat never loses. I swear. It's amazing. The guy literally just said that was the all time high, or that's the, the high for the rest of the year. <laughs> 883 pivot point to the upside. 882, the high from yesterday there. So. It's just sitting there. The lesson to be learned today is the trend is your friend. The 14 EMA. Don't fucking short into the 14 EMA. That's what the lesson is today. There she goes. Through the highs now. What a bounce. We bounce right. Out. Look at that. It's just fucking. It's comedy sometimes. A two-minute chart. 14 EMA on the two-minute chart. I love that shit. I love that shit, man. If you're ever long in the chat, if you're ever long and you're watching a live stream and somebody in the chat says that we're going to drop massively, just fucking just smile ear to ear and go, thank the Lord we're about to make so much fucking money. If anyone ever, if you know what I mean, like if you're if you're long or you're short, vice versa, whatever it is, if you're long and you read the chat and there's somebody in the chat say that we're going to fucking crash, just say thank you, baby Jesus, because this is going to be good. <laughs> uh... VWAP today, paying the bills, baby. Through the 60s now, fucking A. Look at that thing. Are we going to the 80s? We're going to the 80s here or what? Previous day high up there at the 80s, so. Some great comedy today in the chat.
Market just continuing to go higher and higher now. Finally breaking out there. That 15 minute setup there, we talked about that 15 minute bull flag off of the VWAP there. Look at that. That played out beautifully, right? You like that? A little, little play out there, a little play out on the 15 minute chart. Gotta love a good bull flag on the 15 minute chart. You gotta love it. Do I ever look at previous day pivots? Not really. Uh, there's a pivot to the upside at the 883s, which is right there at yesterday's high as well. So I would expect that to be some uh, resistance up there in the 884, 883 level. Pivot point plus yesterday's high up there. If you guys haven't hit that like button, help me out. Blow up the like button. Thanks you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Thank you very very much. The ES, the NASDAQ, both just grinding higher here. Nothing really that explosive, but these dips have been got just continue to get bought up. So these dips keep getting bought up, and we just keep on moving. Dollar looking weak here. The NASDAQ still just grinding higher. Both the ES, the NASDAQ just grinding right now. Are we going to tap the 14 EMA again? Oh, baby Jesus. We're probably going to get close to it on the one minute chart. We're right there on the one minute chart now. The ES up here to the 75s, the NASDAQ up to the 65s. NASDAQ is just continuing to kind of just push up here. Right there at the 14 EMA on the one minute chart. Two minute charts a little bit lower, 50 level. Get one more uh, squeeze up here to the 80 level. Oh, baby. All I can see is 80 push. The NASDAQ up here just hanging out at the highs. The ES also just kind of hanging out at the highs up there. So I am long looking for this push up here. We'll see.
The ES just broke out through the 75s. The NASDAQ kind of just chopped around here at the 65s. Maybe get one more pullback here. That 14 EMA down there at the 51s. That 65 level to get through on the NASDAQ here. If we get a couple, we get 900 likes, I'll play the music. 900 likes for the music, baby. Come on. Oh, buddy, the trap is real. The trap. Either gonna roll or it's gonna pop. Eat Nasdaq. Wow, there's, there's the pullback. We were looking for right up to the people. Nasdaq. Can't stop. Won't stop, they said. Right up to the people. Nasdaq. Can't stop. Won't stop, they said. Got it straight down. Not today, buddy. Not today. If you guys already hit that like button, subscribe button, you know what to do. Hit that blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. Oh, buddy, the trap is real. Trying to see what happens here. 55s. We're going to hold this trend we got going right now. The ES and NASDAQ both looking like they want to push through the highs again. Will we get it is the question now. I am long looking for a push up here. Need a longer version of the song. I'll have to talk to Jay. We need an hour long version. Just one hour. Everybody just sitting here jamming out to my antics. Need a music video, gosh. Do I rent an apartment? No. I'm long from the 57s here, looking for a push up through the highs. Stop pretty much at the 50s here. We're either gonna go through the highs or we're gonna get stopped out here. Need that ES just to blow through there, baby. I can't sleep tonight. Trouble trying to push through there again at the 60s. I might just take it off for a small profit if we can't go straight up here. Just in case we start chopping around. I don't want to get give back any profit and just lock in a quick... $300, possibly right here. It's going to lock it in there. It's going to pop. I've locked in the profit. Guess what's going to happen? It's going to go straight up, boys. Get ready. It's going to go straight up, boys. It's going straight up. In my uh, Top Step Live account right now, we're up $3,000 here on the day. I'm only trading with five contracts currently. Five contracts currently. 
trying to size down, be a little bit, a little bit more, you know, methodical in my trading. Because what I want to do is I want to focus not so much on the PL or trying to get those big, big profits, but really just focus more in on my entries, get better entries, better take profits, better stop losses. And it's a lot easier to do that when you're trading smaller size. So right now you can see up 3,000 there, it's going to go. Now it's going to go through the 60s here. Both the ES and NASDAQ trying to push up through the highs here now. We held the uh, 14 EMA beautifully there um, on this pullback, and now we just kind of start to push up. I know. I told you guys it would go up once I took profit there. Happens every time. Even. The ES stuck at the 75s. The NASDAQ stuck up here at the highs right now. Just kind of, I think we're going to pop through there, but just don't like sitting up here right now because it's, the longer we sit here, the more the shorts can kind of get this back down. I don't like to be hanging out at the highs if we're not blowing through it. 82 pivot up there, though, so anything's possible. We get through that high of day here. Should be a push to the 80s at least. Yesterday's high of day. But right now, just stuck at the highs. What time is it? Almost 11 o'clock. 10.45 here. We're dancing, we're partying, it's Fresh Cast Friday. Making a little bit of money today, not the biggest profit ever, but still a nice little profit day here. And uh, can go into the weekend feeling accomplished, you know? We're like, hey, it is what it is. We took our, on. I feel like on a, on a Friday, OPEX type of day, we did pretty good today. I'll take it, you know? We're like, I'm totally fine with walking away with $3,000 on OPEX. You know, right? You guys know what I mean? You know what I mean? Someone said, is it still going to rise? The million dollar question, my friends. The million dollar question. Still holding up there the 14 EMA. Both the NASDAQ and the ES just kind of sitting here at the highs right now. The uh, ES at the 70, 4,075s. What I think is interesting though is that the ES still has room to push to get above that overnight high. You got yesterday's high on the ES up there at the 92s, whereas the ES is already pretty damn close to yesterday's highs. So kind of interesting. Looking like some trouble here for now. Will this be the dip before the next pop, or do we start pulling back here now? Got the VWAP down there. VWAP's all the way at the 811s.
Dollar just popping up here right now. Dollar going straight up. The NASDAQ sitting here at the 50s. We got that 15-minute opening range down there, 43s. And then after that, you kind of got back into this 30 level pretty quickly. But they are kind of sitting here at the uh, 14 EMA still. VWAP all the way down there at the 808s. It's pretty crappy weather out today, so I can't really go on the boat anyway. So I'm just kind of hanging out. I'll probably be done here in about 15 minutes, 14 minutes, seeing what happens around this 11 o'clock time. Would it be wise to try the 14 EMA as resistance now? Not really. You got to wait. Give it more time. I'd say as long as we're kind of in this 40 to 30 level, I would wait for, you know, more confirmation. Like this bounce candle there at the 35s earlier, like that's still going to be support down there. Don't miss the high for the next year, Pat. You're witnessing history. Yes, I like it. History, baby. This is live on YouTube, making history. History, baby. We're turning that 14, uh, the 15 minute opening range into support right now. And you can see the ES finding support over there at the 72s. So. I'd be a little cautious of getting short here, to be honest, until we get more confirmation to the downside there. Still holding up there at the 15 EMA for now. So, I mean, the sorry, the 15 minute opening range, 14 EMA area. See if we flip this, get back above the 55s, things get interesting along. Uh, I think again for possible squeeze to the highs again. The ES kind of putting in a low, uh, higher low right here at the 71s now. The dollar running into some resistance. I think back over 55s, we squeeze up to the highs again. But got to get through 55s, back above the 14 EMA here. Back up the 55s. This is that moment of truth. Do we push through here? Start to squeeze. You basically want this thing squeezing straight up through the 60s right away. You don't want it to get resistance there. Just like that, basically. Up there to the 60s now. So my advice on not getting short at the 14 EMA played out pretty nicely. And there we go. We are squeezing back up now.
It was pretty telling too with the ES kind of making that higher low there. Look at the ES going straight up. Will the NASDAQ go straight through the highs? You're looking for, I think we go to that pivot point here. Look at the bigger time frames. 15 minute chart once again, bull flagging here through this high of that 67 level. We should take out, go right to the 80s there. Kind of a target. For the target there. Up to a high. We broke the high right there, right? Yeah, 68.75. Still going. What a uh, perfect reversal there through the 55s. Wee! Put your hands in the air. Hit that like button. Had already. People always say, Patrick, you never tell us when to buy. Well, there you go. 10 points through the 55s. Up there to the 65s. Through the high. Like I said, we we're going to squeeze. Back over 55, we we're going to squeeze through the highs. And that's exactly what we did. How does he do it? How can one man be so good looking? And yet, so damn good. We see if we uh, push up there to that pivot point next. The pivot point. The ES just needs to get through there. And then I think the ES goes like the 80s. Pivot point. Yesterday's high up there at the 83s. The NASDAQ song. I got to put it on the channel, I guess. I got to like make a, a rap video, a, a music video for it. Put it on the channel. If everybody wants it. They want that Patrick Wheel and NASDAQ song. It's also very interesting as well. Remember, we held this 15-minute, that dotted line there on the chart is your 15-minute opening range. So we held that level there, and look at that push back up. So keep an eye on that 15-minute opening range. It can turn into support very nicely sometimes. We're looking for this move up through the 70s next, up there towards the 80s for that pivot point touch. YOLO. YOLO, baby. Look at this thing going. It's going. Are you not impressed? Are you? I mean, honestly, though. I just, I wonder sometimes to myself. I'm like, man, am I just full of it? Is Patrick Whelan just got the biggest ego on the internet, or is he just that damn good? Is he just that damn good? <laughs> biggest ego on the internet, baby. Let's go. Up there to a high of 76. Love to see it. We love to see it, fam. Push up there, the 76s, a little bit of trouble again up there. We're getting closer and closer to that pivot point. Can we go all the way? Now that's going to be the million dollar question.
Also, the 15-minute chart had the setup there as well for the breakout. 15-minute breakout there. Bull flagging. Do, 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 do. Up to the highs there. So, we love to see it. I think I'm going to go to Chipotle, celebrate Fresh Cash Friday here. The best way to do it, Chipotle. Sponsor me if you're listening, Chipotle. Sponsor me, free Chipotle for life, and I'll just, I'll, I'll, you can sponsor the channel. I'll eat Chipotle live on YouTube every day. Live every day. Jack in the box. Ew. Ew. Are you crazy? Eddie's bong. Eddie's bong. What do you do? You watch Top Step TV and Patrick Wheelan at the same time? What do you do? Go back and forth? What's going on over there? Yeah, I would never eat a jack in the box. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you a crazy person? NASDAQ back to the 14 EMA again. Some uh, crazy price action right there. Some sellers coming in there. Just kind of ramped up. Price action all of a sudden there. A lot of action coming through. Their orders popping through. OPEX Friday, baby. I'm going to dip this down to uh, stop everybody out and then take it higher. Okay, every time the market pulls back, he keeps saying, that's the top, that's the top, every time. It's it's only gone up 10 points every time he said it's the top, so. You gotta love it. And sitting here at the 14 EMA, we've just been holding this trend, man.
They really like that 14 EMA. They really like it. Someone in the chat is very, very bullish right now. That's not a good sign. We're going to crash to the lows. Oh, God. <laughs> if you're long right now, you might be in trouble because somebody in the chat is very, very bullish. Never a good sign. Telling everyone to buy, 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 buy. <laughs> oh. We'll pray for you. We'll pray for you. What's your stop? DK, DK, F, M, D. What's your stop at? Under the low. What? Where's the low at? At the 53s? I mean, I, I don't hate the idea of this running through the highs. Still holding the 14 EMA, but the problem is just getting just chop city up here right now. It's not like this pullback that we had. I think what I'd like to see a little bit better, a little bit more of a bullish pull. I don't know. I feel like that was just like a very nasty pullback right there from the highs. Maybe another setup like similar to earlier. We th get through the 65s here, go to the 80s. Possibly. Dollar is kind of showing some strength. Need to get above 65s here. Above 65s, maybe we get this more and more breakout here. We haven't, you know, we have not had, we have not had very many Patrick Whelan breakouts today. Look at the one minute chart. Let's see. I guess we had some there on the one minute, but the two minute chart is not really printing a lot of breakouts today. We did have that little breakout there. Uh, we had a breakout signal here at the 55s. That's kind of funny. What's funny is I actually talked about this breakout idea, but not even looking at the one minute chart with the indicator. We were on the two minute chart. So that's kind of funny that the one minute chart had the signal. But we were looking at the two-minute chart, and I still was like, oh, if we get over 55, we go higher. But I wasn't looking at the one-minute chart, I swear to God. Really just need the uh, ES to get through the 80s here. You can see the ES kind of just stuck up there. The dollar are either going to get denied at this little recent high here or uh, did it, did it, did it. 65s coming up there on the NASDAQ right now. 65s, 65s trying to push trouble. Dollar got to get denied right here or the NASDAQ's in trouble.
I think the Nasdaq's in trouble. The dollar, ooh, dollar got kind of getting denied right now on the three-minute chart. Looking a little top-heavy right now. A little top-heavy here. Little top heavy up there. And back to the fifties we go. The ES dumping down there nicely. The uh, NASDAQ in trouble up there at the 50s now. So, not good. I'm going to have to either bet. They got a bull's got to bounce it right here or we're heading lower. So, that 50 level has got to be protected pretty much. This 15 minute chart. We don't, if we lose that 50, I think we go to the pivot down there next. I mean, the uh, VWAP down there at the 14s next. Will they protect the 50s? The ES back to that uh, higher low area again. Will they save it here and bounce it back up? NASDAQ still defending that 50 level here. I think it's on a walk away. It's over. I was thinking we might get that push up to the 80s, but just didn't going to happen today. So I'm going to walk away. I'm going to go to Chipotle and uh, be done. See you guys. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to trade. I'm not sure I'm going to trade next Monday. We'll see. But probably probably be very scattered around in terms of scheduling um, for the rest of the month with the holidays and all that stuff going on. So probably won't be live every day. I'll try to go live as much as I can, but it's kind of that end of the year time. And uh, going to try to enjoy some of the holidays and got some stuff going on. I got to do. So I'll see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys next week at some point. But if you haven't already hit that like button, subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys later on. What do the successful 10% of the people out there have going for them that's different from the others? Community. Hoping and praying is not a strategy. We got people in our community making $10,000 in a day. And I'm just like... 
trade without risking our own money. We keep it simple and we trade the market flow. You can have all the education in the world, but it's not enough. All these other courses, if you don't get mentoring and guidance on a regular basis, you're going to be a seven to ten year journey. There are so many people in this community that are more than willing and able to help you out.